This episode of the Boo Bros Podcast was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Boo Bros. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to a episode of the Boo Bros Podcast. I feel like it's kind of been a while, so a little bit of news has piled up. Today, joining me, we've got some East Coasters, Mr. Wash TV, of course, Hello, the man himself. Me. And then uh, we got Eddie Tainment along for the ride. Uh, you may also, I don't know if they'll see this, but uh, our good friend Rob from The Howling Hour is, is here. <laughs> it's just his name in a box because he's, he's kind of just listening. I'm here in spirit. This, this Wait, episode was here. in front of a live audience. <laughs> He's kind of just listening. He might <laughs> randomly interject at some points in time, but he's technically in the call, so we're going to say he's here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there have been a couple of announcements since we did our last Boo Bros podcast, starting with a pretty significant one here in the last couple of days. And I think you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, oh, and that yeah. is Scratch, the icon of Hollow Scream Orlando, got announced. Um I think it's good that they're maybe focusing on just one icon instead of, you know, it makes it a little more cohesive. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about, about Scratch? Any particular things jumping out of you here? Uh, it's I'm gonna do the coming I, years. I'm going to do the common Lost TV thing here and say I called it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go into your phone. Take a drink every laptop. time Lost calls something. <laughs> Yeah. Even if it's just water. Yeah. Like, right. I knew you were gonna drink that. I called it. I told you guys. <laughs> I told you guys a month ago that, that Connor was gonna drink water. By the way, sorry if I sound sick, it's because I'm sick. Anyway, continue, Lash. Um, I'm really excited to see one individual siren get her whole event. They can really right. dive into her backstory and give her, her own house. So, How long are we keeping this up? Keeping what up? Oh, that was that wasn't a uh, a drinking game sip. That was just for me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to see it all together. I'm. I hope Eddie comes out to Orlando to check out Hollow Scream, but we know he's very keen on Jess Hornets. Yes, so. I'm not gonna have much time yeah. at all. But you do have Hollow Scream at Bush Gardens. Yes. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's been no news on that. No. Right? Okay. No. R.I.P. It seems yeah. like Williamsburg's always the last one to get any piece of news out yeah, of the whole chain. Be, uh, pre-pandemic, <laughs> they would make announcements like in June time and slowly release stuff. But since the pandemic, yeah, they, they release like last minute. Hmm. Well, is, is that all we have to say about Scratch? Yeah. Yeah, because okay. there's really nothing else besides yeah, the dates. It's just Scratch exists. We'll put know. the dates. I'll put the dates on the screen. Right, I'll replace the dates right now where Rob is. That's where the dates are going. <laughs> Sorry, Thanks Rob. for your help, Rob. Thanks for your help, Rob. That's what I'm here for, guys. That is what I'm here for. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he's listening. He's listening. Every once in a while, we just got to make sure he's listening. Yeah. Um, now, don't get me wrong. Hollow Scream is great. But there is a, another haunt in Orlando. Pretty big one. And it's called Halloween Horror Nights, Universal Studios. They just announced their newest house. Well, sort of new. And that is Halloween, the original film. Now, they have done this before, back at HHN24. However, that was eight years ago. Um, but he's coming back this year. Again, it's the original movie. Um I'll go ahead and read the little description on the website. That's why I was trying to, to get pulled up. It says, gather your friends. You got I, got, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Uh, gather your friends and visit Haddonfield, Illinois, where Michael Myers is about to don his mask and embark on his first brutal spree. Silent, merciless, relentless. He's the embodiment of pure evil. You don't want to go alone as you go back to where it all began. This year, step into the original 1978 horror classic. Halloween, so pretty straightforward. Hey, you pretty much from, know what to expect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think so. Wash. No, uh, that's that's from the new movie. 
what he's holding in his hand. Oh, from the new I didn't movie. mean. To, okay, I was gonna say. Um, I just uh, based on the description, I don't think it sounds like the new movie. But uh, yeah, no, I mean it's pretty straightforward. I don't think this is gonna be like you know how Texas Chainsaw Massacre was called uh, that, but it's not like it was based on the original film. Like a sequel kind of thing, but not a sequel. Yeah, no, I think there's gonna be very straightforward the 1978 movie scenes from that maybe a little bit of extra stuff too potentially but i feel like the myers house isn't going to be the facade really yeah okay what what do you think it'll be i feel like maybe maybe we'll go through the penitentiary okay that could be cool well the asylum that michael escapes before he goes on a killing spree and then we see the facade later in the house like a second facade like the trick or treat like trick or treat Mm, yeah yeah, where it's a full-on house I think exactly. that would be cool. I and that would like be. This, this Go ahead, Eddie. Classic, I feel like this is a classic making for a classic Losh. I told you guys later down. Yeah, there. yeah, we'll see. Right, I'm, is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save setup. this exact clip. This is and if it setup. happens, I will just play it on this. Like, I'll just upload just this. It would be cool. It, it would be kind of a way to differentiate between the 24 house and then this one because 24 did use the Myers house as the facade. Um, and obviously we don't know for sure, but this is rumored to be at a sound stage, correct? Yeah, that's what it's so that, is. So that alone will make it a little different than 24, being mm-hmm. that that was in a tent. So, I don't know, I'm pretty excited. I, I think uh, it'll be a little lower on my hype list, but I just feel like for HHN 31, you gotta have Halloween. It just makes too much sense. Yeah. Like, and it's, and it's the original. I, I didn't get to go in 24, so I didn't see it. So I get to see it. Um, I know we've seen Myers in the past, but it just makes too much sense for this year, I think. I am super biased, as you guys can see, by a lot of the decorations behind me and I was holding up to the screen. I'm super excited. I did I want it to no be 2018. Idea. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> he, he wore that ring that. on opening night last year, guys. How so you guys it, know yeah. that as well. <laughs> oh, oh wait wait hold on i wore this too so i'm just saying eddie called it last year yeah i called it last year that's right they called it last year no but um i'm super excited for this house to come um anything michael myers i think is pretty awesome um i, I also had talked about potentially them doing a scare zone a scare zone of halloween with the traditional halloween feel would have been super cool too uh but bringing this to a sound stage the last time that we had Halloween at the event was at the Shrek building, right? Yes. Yeah, Halloween 4. For, tw- yeah. for 2018, it was in there. Yeah, so th- <laughs> do we know which um, which soundstage? Mm-mm. It no? could either be in 22 or one of the two shared ones, because that's all they filed permits for so far. Interesting. Yeah, um, yeah and, and, and it's a classic, too. So uh, I, I feel like 31 is almost an anniversary year for Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, that's in a way. Yeah, it's like a culmination of everything that we've loved. That isn't just Halloween Horror Nights. It's the whole embodiment of Halloween. Yeah, and uh, by tradition of Halloween Horror Nights, Michael Myers comes every two years, um, and he skipped to three years this time, I guess, because of the pandemic. But yeah, he's, he's he had to make sure everyone was good for for <laughs> how how long, right? Yeah, he he's <laughs> he's he's uh he's got health risk. So <laughs> <laughs> he is really old. So. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's what we didn't know. His, uh, his one Achilles heel is, he, is, uh, COVID. He has underlying health conditions. <laughs> he can take shots to the eyes. But... <laughs> I shot him six times. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. We're off topic. But, uh-huh. um, uh, Lash, what, what's your, your take on this? Me, um, overall excited. Um, I think this is, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. This is the first time that we're going to hopefully see the Myers residence in general again, because I don't think we saw it in 2018. And I don't remember seeing it in 2016 either, like the actual facade of the house. I, I, I know it wasn't in 2018. I, I can't say for sure on 16. I don't think it was in 16, because 16, we were focused on the back streets and then the hospital. Which makes sense, because it was Halloween too. So, I mean, that. Yeah. So I mean, out of the house there before when we had the tent house, wasn't that the facade? Yeah, that, that was in twenty fourteen. Oh okay, okay. So okay. the original, the original house. 
Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's the last time we've seen the actual like Myers house or the Strode <laughs> residence. So I'm excited to see it again. I love Michael Myers, just like Eddie. I can't wait to walk back through this house and get a new love again. All the people that weren't able to see it in 2014, like Connor and a ton of Horror Nights fans are going to love this house, hopefully. Yeah. And if they end up doing the the Myers house facade inside of a soundstage, it's going to be so much more legit. Because last time I was just like a projection. Yeah. It was like a, it was like a, they had a building, but it, they had a projection on it for all the details. Mm-hmm. So now they can really give you the whole feel. Yeah, this would actually be like a, a built out, like legit practical effect type of facade. Yeah, it should be pretty awesome to see that. And I, I think, you know, yeah, Michael Myers might be a little bit like repetitive in a way, but there's still a lot of novelty and being scared by someone like that. It was the same thing. Like I wasn't super high on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house, but there's still some novelty and like Leatherface popping out at you just because, hey, it's Leatherface, you know, it's a classic. Yeah. And and again, to reiterate, like Michael Myers coming for the 31st year, I feel like it would have been a huge miss to not have him for 31. Like, and that, that's why I also, I'll tell you what, I would kill, not to get too off topic, I would kill for that trick or treat scare zone back for this year. Like, if I could have anything, retelling is right on topic. Like, you you think that's right on topic? Yeah, you that's said that's right on topic. <laughs> that's right on top. Right on topic. Right on topic. <laughs> right on topic. Bring back the trick or treat scare zone. <laughs> and that's that's what I kind of envisioned for a Halloween scare zone, a very similar type of feel. Yeah, like a similar vibe. It'll be yeah. cool to see because we've seen it in a house. We have yet to see it in the streets because even back in 2015 when we had the um, all night dying, there was no Michael. So technically. We haven't seen Michael on the street. So I would love to see it. Yeah, that would be dope. I, I would love to see him out in the street. I'm not sure if there's like a licensing issue with that, which is probably maybe, why we haven't seen it. Maybe the IP is too big. Yeah. Something like that. Maybe. Yeah. The only way they can bring it in is with a house. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah, but it's it's a house that I'm that I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, if, if they're bringing it to to a soundstage, that sounds amazing to me. We can hope and, it's a soundstage. And to the to the to the point that that you made, Connor, it's it being repetitive. I, I think that's obviously been a big topic in the HHN community. A lot of people have have commented that, but it's like it's like all right, you guys are just being hypocrites because when Jack comes around, everybody's like throwing their hands up, like oh my god, Jack's back. But you know what? You know what's kind of weird though. Shirts and stuff, you know, and do all that stuff. <laughs> I feel like there's. Go ahead, go ahead. He, he's. I, I, we said it. I, I said it in the chat. He's the equivalent of Jack in intellectual property at Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, but I feel like there's been like kind of a discourse lately. I've seen it on like some of the forums and stuff, where there's been like more of a disdain towards the icons. I don't know if you guys have been seeing that, but some people are kind of like really sick of the icons. Which I don't really the, understand that either. It's but the new Stranger Things crowd. Yeah, that's oh, no. pretty much what it is. The yeah. people that started becoming fans within the last like four or five years. 2018. Are, yeah. Are the ones that are basically really upset about it. Mm. And they just got Yep. It. Well, I like the icon. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? He, he had to interject. He had to. <laughs> is that Rob Zombie? <laughs> <laughs> just i'm just agreeing with losh about that whole new crowd coming in hey i said that too are you not agreeing with me i was agreeing eddie, with eddie well, so so it was well, like yeah, was, it was a it was chain a reaction mutual, it, was, it, was, it was a mutual agreement okay. it was a chain Domino. reaction i agreed with you and he agreed with me okay, okay. yeah yeah it all can it all can be traced back to you eddie exactly <laughs> well, called it I don't, I don't know though. I don't know if it's all just new fans. Like, I don't know. I think because you can almost think like some of the older fans who have seen the icons many times. I know Eddie, you haven't gotten tired of them. No. But a lot of people have seen them a bunch of times. Maybe they are. I'm not gonna like single out the new fans here, but <laughs> you know. Don't but, get me like, wrong. We we love old fans and we love new fans. You guys are all great. But we just love old fans better. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that, 
<laughs> spoken like a true old fan. I know. <laughs> spoken like um, a true gatekeeper. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> gatekeeper. <laughs> gatekeeper Eddie. <laughs> um, well, I'd also like to touch a little bit on the other house that was announced. I know this happened a while ago. And Eddie and our good friend Tony from Knights of Horror did a video on it already, just the two of them. But we haven't really talked about it in a pod, like a Boo Bros podcast yet. And as Universal Monsters Legends Collide, uh, that was the first announcement of the year. Uh, if you thought one Universal Monster was scary, how about three? Better summon your Scream Squad, because you're about to get caught in the middle of an epic battle between the Wolfman, Dracula, and the Mummy together for the first time ever. Their mission to find the amulet that will break their curse and they'll destroy anyone who gets in their way. Um, I think this could be one of the best houses of the event this year. They, they're just they just know how to use their monsters, um, and I think these three are going to make it make a really good combo. It's a weird combo, but it'll make a really good combo. And I think uh, I think the thing that makes me so excited is my favorite section of the twenty nine maze. Was mummy? What? 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 what, what what's Adrian doing? No, no, what's, no, no. Eddie what's has he his doing? Hand up. Eddie has his hands up. So I'm saying, hold on. Okay. We'll get to you, sir. We'll get to you. Oh, I see. I see. We'll get okay. to you. We'll get to you. We'll get to you. Yeah. My, my favorite part of the the Universal Monsters 29 maze was the mummy. So that's cool. The Wolfman scenes were cool. Dracula was cool. So <laughs> should be good. Eddie, Eddie, what what do you got? <laughs> what What I was gonna say. Is before we transition completely away from Halloween, <laughs> put your hand down. <laughs> the, this is probably going to be unpopular opinion. Okay. But the teaser trailers for both of these have to be some of the most basic teaser trailers to open up the announcement season. I think the the the, the first one was pretty good. The the monsters one. I wasn't as big on the Halloween one. But I he, thought the he monsters were cool. Yes. He should have killed her. <laughs> yeah, you, it's like Michael was only there for like a half second. I know. But but what I will say is it does look like they're coming together for something more. They're, you know, they, they all interconnect. There you go. But there you go. I, I've, I've felt kind of, hopefully in the later on, you know, it all comes back and I'm like, all right, foot and mouth, the, the ending was amazing. But so far, they've been, for a lack of better word, lame. They're all just going to go to a concert together. Yeah, right. And My theory is the gorilla. is the next one will be Usher. Well, you know how in the the first one we got like There's the the um the skeptic was like on the phone with the snacker. Yeah. This one we didn't see another person. Now my theory is there was a really random shot of a German Shepherd. Uh, I think the next <laughs> one will be the Good Boy, and it will be the German <laughs> Shepherd. Whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up. <laughs> That's Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery. You heard it. I just, I just cracked it. I just cracked it. Heard it here. No, 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 no. But for real, for real. Ready, ready, ready for some super random out of left field things. Okay. If you pause the video at the perfect time, when the skeptic is walking past the painting in her room, like in in the living room, you see the letters X O X O X. You get me here. Hugs, kisses. Keep, 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 keep Hugs going. Kisses. What's what's a certain uh, artist uh, label? I'm gonna assume the, the weekend. weekend, but yeah, yeah, it's the know. weekend. It's the weekend. It's oh. XO. But I don't think okay. it's that serious, guys. Guys, we have another person dropping in. It's hallowed time. He's it's hallowed time. <laughs> Welcome. Wow. Hey, welcome. Hey, hey, man. Um, the po- the podcast back. is almost over, but so, so no, no, no. <laughs> so, Michael, before we continue on talking about Legends Collide, what are your opinions on Scratch coming to Hallow Stream? Um, I kind of uh, deciphered that whole binary shit that hinted at the, at Scratch coming, so I'm kind of excited for that that I was able to figure that out. Um, but yeah, I saw that um, and I was like, "All right, all right, I see you. I see you, Hollow Scream." I see you. Okay, Characters okay. looking real nice, though. I'm like, I'm excited to see what they do with it. Exactly. Now, next, because we've gone over this topic as well, Halloween. Ooh, uh, just finished up a, a video that's getting posted tomorrow for that. But um, right now, we're posting it right now. Yeah. 
but anyways um no I'm, I'm excited for it um since i the, my first year was 2017 i missed out on the original one that came in 2014 so i'm excited hopefully they have uh i think it's supposed to be rumors are parade new parade building correct soundstage the rumors soundstage, right now the hot yeah. rumors are a soundstage okay still possibly could have the myers house as the as the indoor facade i doubt it but we'll see if it's if that's if that's the facade hell yeah if it's not still hell yeah because we're getting halloween <laughs> nice and nice. you can't have the 31st event without michael myers what do you on. think of the trailer uh i wish there was more michael i, I wish you wish there was michael. more michael you're 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 michael yeah <laughs> No, the entire time I was recording my video, I, I was like I was talking about myself in the third person. <laughs> <laughs> Michael is coming to Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that's right. Michael. <laughs> but is will Michael to really Horror show Night. up to Halloween Horror Nights on opening night? Will he really be there? I don't know. I don't think so. It's going to rain. I don't think he's going to be there. I don't think I'm going to be there. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be there, man. Now, nah, if, we're, if we're making that trip out to Hollywood, I don't think I'm going to spring to go to opening well, weekend. Well, the crazy thing is, is you actually weren't at opening weekend this past at year. All. If you remember, you were actually there <laughs> earlier. Yeah, I was, I was there a week early. And, and you set up a super elaborate ruse before the event even started, if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. I, I know no one's going to understand that reference. Yeah. No, if you understand it, comment down below. <laughs> no, if, no one saw that I, I got the reference. Don't worry, guys. I got the reference. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Rob has just cut. so Rob to catch you up, Michael. He's... Our live audience. <laughs> this, this episode he's has just been, been listening, and every once in a while he says something. <laughs> he chimes in. Yeah, that's that's the way this podcast has been going. That's the way the news goes. Hey, but, but I, I'm I'm I made a special guest appearance after I finished playing yeah. Fortnite. All right, and legends collide, Michael. Fortnite battle pass. Uh, legends collide. Um. Team Mummy all the way. Yeah, this guy gets it. I was just saying before you got here that Mummy was my favorite part of the 29 maze the oh. house here in here yes. in Florida. Absolutely. So 100%. that makes me even more hyped to get yes. more Mummy representation. I want to see my mom. Kind of, kind of bummed it's not just solo Mummy, but I'll take what I can get. But now the Dracula owes me money memes can return in full force. Hey, yeah, I'm, 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 and, I might dress up as Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Yeah, I might dress yeah. up as Moon Knight. <laughs> and, and, and with Moon Knight growing in popularity because of the show. The meme grows. The, the meme, meme grows. will grow forever. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Evergreen meme. <laughs> Evergreen meme. Shout out to Hunter. Shout out, Hunter. <laughs> uh, what, well, Adrian, what are your thoughts on the Universal on Monsters? Le on Legends Collide? I mean... It's going to be a Monsters house. I have yet to not like a Monsters house. That I've gone through. Yeah. I like the one in 2018. No, 19. My bad. 2019. I like the one that we went through during HHN Light, which was the same one that we got at 30. So I'm excited. And like Michael said, like you said, and Eddie, I'm not sure if you said it or not, but who knows? Team Mummy, all the way. Where, where do you fall in that argument, Eddie? Um, I'm a mummy's boy too. Hey, look at the look at Boo Bros are mummy boys. The mummy nope. boys. Nope. Hashtag nope. under wraps. Nope. Rob, get out except of here. Except Rob. Except Rob. <laughs> Rob is yeah. hashtag wolfy boy. Yeah, Rob is definitely a wolfy boy. Oh. I <laughs> but although Wait. the the trailers let me down, I I've never had a a classic monsters house that I haven't enjoyed, and they've always been top three. One yeah, of them was number one for me. The twenty nineteen. Uh, Monsters House was my my number one house for that year. We should we should also note briefly that both of these houses are also announced for Hollywood. So both of these are bi coastal and coming to both events. So if you're a Hollywood person and you somehow missed it, you're getting both of these houses as well. Uh, and that includes Rob, Mister Mister Rob is going to get to to go yeah. through and be like Wolfman, and whenever Wolfman pops out, he'll just kind of howl and they'll have a He's nice moment. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're gonna look into each other's eyes and just no. We're gonna sniff each other. We're just gonna sniff each other. <laughs> He's gonna come out to scare him. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the serious question out, is: the serious question is, 
Going, going back to Halloween. Do we think people are going to get butt hurt if they include Michael killing a dog like he did in the actual movie? Yep. Yeah. They, are are, are get, they going to include it? And people are going to are people going to get I mean, butt hurt? Think about it this way: in the commercial and the little teaser, there's a dog. There's a dog, and he replaces the dog. He's gonna, he's gonna kill the dog, it's man. It's gonna happen. For the dog. It's gonna happen. I'm worried for the dog. I'm worried for good boy. For the good boy. That's gonna I, be the next one. It's gonna be the yeah, next that, trailer. That's why I said <laughs> earlier. I was like, the good boy is gonna be <laughs> the, the next boy. character. <laughs> <laughs> but they better not hurt him. I swear to God. They're just gonna bring Joseph um, fear back. Yeah, because we all remember the depths of fear fiasco. Oh Jesus! And how, it, I just thought it was funny how like there was the dead dog in depths of fear, and like everyone was. For, I just want to point out that like the dead horse. Yeah, I just want to point out that <laughs> at least like my first couple times through depths of fear, I didn't even see the dog. It was out of there before I even noticed it existed. Like, like I didn't even Not, see it until people made like a thing about it. No, they didn't. I don't <laughs> think they it, did. It was there the whole run. Was it? I, yeah, I did well because I remember I never like, saw it. the first t- couple times through, like I didn't even see it until like afterwards, and people had pointed it out. So I specifically asked one of my friends, "I'm like, where exactly is it?" But everyone's <laughs> making said, a big thing I about quote, it. There it is. Everyone's like making a big thing about it. Meanwhile, right next door, there's a gigantic dead horse in the facade for nightingales, and no one cares about the horse. The horse is fine; it can be dead, but the dog. Nope, that's too far. <laughs> that's horseshit. <laughs> it's just like, where's the love for the horses? Right? Horses are domesticated animals. Straight up. You know? I have a question that's a little bit off topic when it comes to Halloween Horror Nights, but still in correlation with the monsters. Eddie and Michael, I need your opinions on this. What do you I feel about the, the Minions Cafe? What, Potential Minions what? Cafe. Potential minions. <laughs> I, I I understand why you you excluded Connor from this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. No. No. Hear get, me out. Get out of here. No. Oh, wait, don't, I'll, no. I'll, I'll, I'll let Eddie talk and then I'll say, "Hear me out." Hold on. I got. I I I I don't ride minions when I go to the park really often, but I also don't hate it. If if Damn. I'm bringing a new person, I always take them to ride minions. So. I'm not as big of a hater as people that have been excluded from this conversation. But, um, I, I mean, I guess we'll see. We'll see. I but I, I, I am pissed that it replaced monsters. That That's upsetting. I have never ridden minions. I refuse. What? I refuse. You have to ride it at least once. No. He's like, allergic to will. bananas. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to waste my, my, my perfectly good time at the park by waiting in line for minions so we're going on minions next time you come down here huh yep no yeah i would rather like i would rather die, die. <laughs> i would rather fucking go on fast and furious i mean i'd rather uh, go on being, it too being... but like you're being too nice you're being too generous <laughs> no. i'd rather wait in line at richter's for a hamburger wait you just said you think <laughs> that what? <laughs> what? Rick Rick Richter. Richter's has decent burgers. Yeah, if you would have said if you would have said Mel's, I would have been like, yo, I understand. Nah, man. I, I hear people complain about Richter's all the time. Which is uh, why I never got that's why I never went there either. We went there last time, Josh. Yeah, Burger was fine. Burger yeah, was fine. I actually I actually think Richter's burgers are decent. Yeah. Uh I won't comment on Mel's. My, Michael I, I, <laughs> I, I I will say I will say Monsters Cafe will be sorely missed. Yes. Because it was, you know, it wasn't a place that I was going to eat super often, but it was my favorite spot at studios to go get out of the sun and chill because of the atmosphere. And especially at Halloween Horror Nights, where you're there for a horror event, you don't have to lose the immersion if you go to Monsters Cafe to chill because you're surrounded by classic monsters. Um, So I'll very much miss that. I'll very much miss that. And I, I think it's going to be weird, like, walking through the front of the park and not seeing it. It's going to take some getting used to. And, yeah, I'm definitely going to miss the place, for sure. For sure. All right, so hear me out. How are they going to retheme the inside of this place? 
Just a thought. Hear me out here. Half of this, let's have minions dressed as monsters. <clears throat> there you go. That's it. You can hate the idea. But are they going to do idea. it? They're not going to do it. But do it? I feel like we're going to have at least one or two Easter eggs to Monsters Cafe in there. Like, the only... you, like they literally have I mean, yeah. minions dressed as monsters and they sell the merchandise. I think there will so be like... Easter eggs, whatever it is. But I, I think the one thing that's like, okay, is like, we are pretty heavily rumored to get a Monsters Land at epic yeah. but then again like even though there will be food there it's not going to be like the monsters cafe it's probably going to be like the Theme theme of the, the village area. that you're in you know what i mean mm -hmm. this is like a compilation of monsters type of deal that i don't think you're going to see again so like i said i'm going to miss it i'm going to miss it i really did enjoy hanging out there so the tears are going to come out of f in the chat from monsters cafe f in the chat I guess our new hangout spot is the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I need to screenshot that. Um, <laughs> that. <laughs> um, what's the we, we well the hangout spot can't be Mel's because that's where all the teenagers hang out. So the we're, spot, we're, when, well, where are we gonna go, Richter's? No, we're just gonna go into <laughs> the Men in Black. Floor. It's not open Sim Simpsons. Morning. No, we're gonna go to um, Kids Zone. What's that place called? Yes. No. Kids Zone Pizza Company. You know that one place where they have the uh, water fountain right there? Not water fountain. The um, yeah, water fountain in the back, ne across from the crepes, right there. That's where we're going. What if it rains? You bring an umbrella. Whoa. We bring our okay. we, we bring our own monster figurines and we set them up. Oh, okay. So we recreate. That's vibe. our monster cafe. Okay, that's good. That that will make sense. Yeah, I can get with that. Yeah, but well, here, but here's the thing though. We gotta we gotta figure out. Did you say here's the uh, here's the thing? What? What are you What are you doing? He's he's eating out of his minions popcorn bucket. Okay, well we gotta figure out though. Two weeks where tail. is uh where is the lunch gonna be for um i'm asking the horror it's not coming back not no, this year at least we're gonna have lunch the lunch from unmasking the horror tour that's not stuff happening you're gonna eat in you're gonna eat inside of a minion's mouth no you'll probably eat in one of their like their uh what's it called like vip areas What did I just miss? Bro. <laughs> my, my. This is why I can't. This is why I need to fucking leave. This is why I need to fucking move. What? I, I don't. It don't. It don't matter how much fucking Yo, I, I, I can I'm, possibly. I'm cutting lose. it. People just I'm walk in. I'm cutting the video. Right when that happens, I'm just gonna play the. Dee -dee. <laughs> <laughs> His mom walked in. <laughs> that was so good. All right. Oh my so, god. <laughs> so where do you think they're gonna have the um unmasking the horror tour lunch? You know where either the NBC, um, where they had like the the that little the little bar and they do the like viewings of like TV shows. No, that's for VIP. Or experience. or or Michael, listen. Could they do it at like yeah. Finnegan's or something? Or no, I don't think they'll do it. Meet, at meet me at Finns. Or they they also set up the you know uh, the New York Library, uh, the area back there before. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, they could do it at Finns or or Simpsons or whatever if they wanted, right? Because it would take place before Stay and Scream starts, right? The lunch for unmasking. But it goes up yeah. to like, it goes up to like, I think they have like five o'clock times. I don't think they would have the restaurant closed for that long, though. Yeah. Yeah. I could see them maybe said, like, that's a stretch, bringing you back to the Blue Man Group Theater and having yeah. you eat there. But at the same or time, that. you still have other, like, tours that are coming in. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how things shuffle around on that front. Yeah, because they... A lot of things are shuffling around this year. Yeah, they wouldn't have it at uh, La Bamba because that's where the RIP tour meets. 
yeah, they have to set up. Well, wars aren't going on during that time. Yeah, but that they have true. they have it set up for that though. It doesn't matter. Like they ha they have uh, the Blue Man Group set up for other things too. Like what? Like when your mom was. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna head out. No, <laughs> let me just call nine three three real quick. My, the, I, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> oh um, my gosh! All right, I think we've gone really off topic too. So yeah, we have. We yeah. we've we've demolished the topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah you guys. Let's uh, let's let's rein it back in, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rob. All, all I know is that we have one active listener for this whole thing, and it's Rob. I know. Yeah, Rob is probably the only person who's like 100% view retention for this podcast. Wash, when you edit this, please get one of those like radio voices like this episode was filmed in front of a live audience. <laughs> I'll, re I'll, record the, I'll record the audio myself. Okay. And you know, when we do, like, instead of having Boo Bros, ha 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 ha, I'm going to do this episode of the Boo Bros podcast was recorded in front of a live studio audience. And then we'll have at Nickelodeon boys. Studios at Universal at Studios, Florida. <laughs> It's yeah. soundstage 19, and <laughs> rest uh, in peace to the king. Right, and live it. from New York, it's Saturday night. <laughs> all right, let's wrap this up, guys. Yeah, we've um, gone all over the place. <clears throat> so, Eddie, where, where can the people keep up with you? On uh, Instagram and Twitter uh, at EddieTainment1, um, and then on YouTube at EddieTainment. No way. All right. Uh, how about how about you, Mr. Michael, our our late arrival for the day? Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, across the board at Hollowed Thrills. And you all know him already, but the backbone of the Boo Bros, Lost TV. All right, you can find me on YouTube at the Howling Hour, and then on Twitter underneath, I believe it's Connor W. Eighty two. That's not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. It, that's my old handle. I don't know my new handle. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, realistically, just look up Lost TV anywhere. I'm not going to be the first one. I'll be like the fifth one down, but that's me. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm Connor FL on YouTube, Connor FL1 on Twitter. Uh, Rob is our, our live studio audience. He's the Howling Hour. Uh, so be sure to give him some love as well. And yeah. I think that's all we got. Sorry, this got extremely off topic, but I'm kind of not surprised that it happened. And it is maybe it ever a Blue Bros longer. podcast if we don't ever have a little yeah. bit of fun and go it, off? It has. Topic? It has to be like totally unplanned BS for at least half the show. Would, so. would you say it would have to be unscripted? <clears throat> I mean, technically, it's it is unscripted. So would you say it is about horror nights? Yeah. Would you say it's? End it right here. Horror Nights Unscripted. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Horror Nights Unscripted, guys. <laughs> Have a great night. It's spooky, hey, Holland. And wow. don't forget to ask yourself, have you been <laughs> Eddie Tame? <laughs>